if you're passionate about the subject matter, it shows. It's called Forever Employable because it's focused on how to build a platform around yourself so that you can then establish yourself as a recognized expert and a thought leader in whatever field works for you and ensure that whatever type of business you're seeking ultimately comes to find you instead of you having to go and chase it down. If you're branding yourself as an expert, you need to understand your industry. And if there's one thing to understand about the social media world is that it's, it's fickle. That's the whole point. The whole purpose is that no matter what gets thrown at you, whether it is a, a change in, in the market, a change in the economy, a pandemic, whatever it is, right, the level of panic that you, people would normally feel with such a drastic change doesn't affect you as much because you've created multiple channels for acquiring new leads, new businesses, new types of work. So this is basically my story. The really interesting uh, thing about this book, this is my fourth book. And the story in this book starts with me on the day that I turned 35, because that's the day that I decided that I was not going to look for work anymore. That's, what's, that, that's the story that's in the book, that's the backbone of the book. And then it's filled with a lot of practical advice and tips and tricks of what I tried, what worked for me, what didn't work for me, um, and what I learned from that. And it really, it really focuses around leveraging your expertise to establish yourself publicly and broadly um, in your domain and then attracting the kind of work opportunities, uh, businesses, whatever it is that you're looking for that will ensure that no matter what happens, you stay forever employable. I think that if, if you take an entrepreneurial, appro entrepreneurial approach to anything that you're doing, I actually believe that you can apply this, this uh, approach to whatever your expertise is and then how do you want to get that expertise out into the world, right? How are you going to share that expertise? Um, are you going to uh, write, write blog posts? Are you going to make videos? Are you going to make instructional videos? Can you talk at co talks and conferences or write a book or start a, start a podcast or whatever it is, right? How are you going to start to establish yourself as a thought leader based on your experience and your expertise so that you either attract a bunch of freelance, freelance opportunities or your next full-time opportunity or entrepreneurial ventures that might come your way. Now, there are different levels of investment for each one of those platforms, right? So tweets are ephemeral and the pace of which they, they kind of expire is, is very fast. However, the level of effort that you have to put into a tweet is relatively low, which means that you can fire off a lot of them, right? And start to see which one of them resonates with your target audience. You start to find the, the ones that resonate, you can expand that to the next level of investment, right? So the next level of investment could be a blog post or a short video or, or, or maybe a set of photos on Instagram or whatever it is, right? But the goal, the goal is to use the platforms to build an audience and then to, and to generate the kind of evidence that you need to then justify further investment in a particular content direction or topic or, or, or a channel. Yeah, so look, I don't, I don't think spray and pray is, is a good strategy, right? Just generally speaking, like, yeah, let me try this, let me try this. Oh, I like baseball, let me try baseball, right? That's everything. Uh, I, th I think much, much more so is to take a look exactly what you said, right? What do I know? What, what's my business? What's my passion? Where, where are the, the intersections of those? And, 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 and where, where, where are the trends headed, right? So, so basically, if, if there's three, three facets to, or kind of a Venn diagram with three circles, right? It's, it's your experience, expertise, and passions in one circle. The second circle is going to be trends, cultural trends, technological trends, consumer trends, geopolitical, right? Uh, healthcare trends, those types of things. And the third, I think, is target market and audience size, right? So how big is it, right? And, and the nexus of those three circles is gonna yield a couple of different things for you. Maybe, maybe not just one, maybe two or three different ones. That's great. Now we've got a bit more focus, right? It's not spray and pray. It's two to three ideas that we think we might go for. The next step then is to figure out, okay, which one of these stands the greatest chance of success? And this is where I take the 20 years of work that I've done building digital products and services and apply that same philosophy 
to determining how to improve myself and my career, right? This is, it's, it's, it's basically treating yourself as a product or a service, a digital product or service. And what we're trying to do is de-risk those ideas that are at the nexus of that Venn diagram. And the way that we do that is by right, uh, running experiments, right? Lightweight experiments to then see what sticks, right? And that's when we send the tweets, the 500 word blog post, the three minute video on LinkedIn, um, you know, the, the, the YouTube short, whatever it is, right? Uh, the guest blog or the guest podcast appearance over here to see how well the story's resonating and what kind of response you're getting to that story. And wherever you start to see more, more spark, that's where you start to double down, right? That's where you start to invest more based on evidence.